So this is how I store my surfboards. On the bottom is my paddle board. It is 12 feet long. Obviously it's too heavy. It's made of epoxy. It's too heavy to go on the, up on these racks. So these racks I bought in Hawaii, they were DIY, were just made by some guy I found on Craigslist. And um, so they're just wooden blocks and they have these um, hooks in the back that hook onto a nail or a screw and then covered in old carpet and then um, this wood and they did have the foam on them, the styrofoam. I just recently duct taped it. And then here we have my longboard, my oldest longboard. It's got quite a few dings in it and it is a six. And then we have my latest foamy longboard, eight feet. I have yet to ride it. <laughs> I just got it earlier this year. It was a bargain. It was 150 bucks. It was missing a fin. So the fins are miscolored, which doesn't matter to me as long as they work. And I got it from a surf shop. So they sell discounted boards after the summer lesson. Brand is Softail. And then I'm not going to take it out, but this is my fish. It is fiberglass and it is seven feet in my Dakayan bag. And then this is my Ben Gravy. I think this is six foot, but this is my Ben Gravy Foamy and you can take out the fins really easily. And then up here on the top rack, I used to put my skis up here, but now I just have my paddles for my kayak and paddle boards. And then I have my Ben Gravy boogie board. I got this off Craigslist. And then I also have, I'm not tall enough to see, but um, this is my 48 inch wave bandit board. This is like a kid's surfboard. It's really fun for boogie boarding. And then I have life jackets up above here. And then my little kayak cart and a whole bunch of other things. I do plan on getting at least one more board over the winter, possibly a shorter long board for my birthday in a few months, but stay tuned for that. Two more boards that I have. These are from a Barbie Jeep thing I was trying to recreate, but I got it off uh, Facebook Marketplace, of course. When I was looking at buying a house, I definitely was looking at sheds too um, that opened from the front here. Let's see how it's open um, instead of from the side because I knew I would have to be putting in my boards like this and coming in like, like so. Instead, if you're coming in from the side, you'd have to like, you know, it's, you're limited on space. Well, luckily, this house already came with a shed. It was a decent sized shed. I think the shed's about 30 years old. I've got to redo the roof and the floor in it soon. It's really great. I just bring my boards in and set them up. I might, I don't know if I can get one of those, I forget what they're called. I'll show a picture, but it's like where you can just stand up the boards and just line them up in the racks. I don't think this shed is tall enough for it. I've seen it in surf shops and uh, things like that. I know Steve Hauser has one. I will link his videos here, his channel, go check him out. He's a Jersey surfer. I think the rafters will get in the way. If I add to my collection, I like this all. Don't have room for my, I mean, I guess I could put my kayak in here. I know it's on our porch. <laughs> I'll link that video down here too. I made a Jurassic Park kayak for my husband. But yeah, for now this really works. I think I might get a rocket surfboard in the next year. I've been thinking about it for over a year. I might just take out the fins so I can stack them a little bit better. So right now, my fiberglass long board has a really long fin. I just added this last year. It's from Ho Stevie. So it's supposed to do allow you to make slower turns. Um, so I haven't really, <laughs> I haven't really, um, I guess I did use it last Thanksgiving, I think, but um, I was hoping to try it out this weekend, but I'm unfortunately not able to go. Anyway, these are the troll fins. These are made for easier turns, apparently. Um, but yeah, this one, <laughs> big old fin is in the way. I can just pop these out pretty easily. You can take like a coin, and then there's a certain type of wrench you can use to just twist these out. Um, and I might just have to do that to stack them easier. So the roof racks I keep right here. They are specifically for my type of car. And then I kept my roof rack pads. I bought a roof rack for my Scion when I lived in Hawaii and it was very specific for a Scion. And then I just kept the pads when I sold the roof rack. And then when I got my current car, I did get these from the dealer brand new. Um, I've always found that buying 
roof racks can be a little sketchy or be a little bit like if you try to get them second hand unless you know they're for your exact type of car it it almost never works out so I did buy these new for like 300 and some change well worth it I use them for so much stuff but yeah these pads are pretty good too and thanks for watching for more surfing content including warm and cold water surfing please like and subscribe Thanks for watching.